hey guys, we are going to solve this inequality and then graph it on this beautiful number line, okay? So my whole goal is to get X by itself, okay? So I want to know what numbers can be plugged in for X to make this statement true, okay? So um, we have an inequality here, a less than sign, um, but while we are solving it, we can treat this basically like an equal sign. There's just one exception to that rule that we'll talk about when it comes up, okay? So I want X alone. Uh, order of operations tells us to start with what's inside our parentheses, right? Guys, I'm sorry, there's jets flying over my house. <laughs> All right, but these aren't like terms, so I can't subtract them, okay? But what I can do to get around that is I can distribute this negative two in, okay? That negative two is being multiplied, all right? So I get negative two times x, which gives me negative two x, and then negative two times a negative three, which gives me a positive six, okay? And this is less than 18, okay? Still trying to get x alone. So I'm going to subtract six, from both sides, okay? That leaves me with negative two X is less than 12, okay? Now I am going to divide by negative two on both sides. And this is when the alarm bells should go off when you are working with inequalities, okay? Whenever you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you flip the sign. Okay, you flip this guy. Da, 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 da. I like to circle it to help remind me, but that's not like official math something. It's just what I like to do. Okay, so because I divided by a negative, I'm going to flip the sign. So now it's going to be x is greater than 12 divided by negative 2 gives me a negative 6. Okay, so that is my answer. So what that answer is telling me is that I can plug in any number bigger than six here and um, this will come out true, okay? This side will be less than that side. Isn't that cool, right? I know. Okay, now we're going to show that in graph form, okay? So I'm going to, here's my little line graph. I'm going to do zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. There we go, okay. So, um, negative six is kind of my placeholder here. So I'm going to put an open circle at negative six. Okay. If this happened to be X is greater than or equal to negative six, if we had started with it, um, like that up there, this would be a closed circle. Okay. Because it could include negative six, but how this is now, it's just greater than. So it's an open circle, okay? X is greater than negative six. The numbers greater than negative six are to the right, correct? So my arrow is going to go that way. So what this tells me is X can't be negative six, but it can literally be any number bigger than negative six, okay? Um, now you might be like, why did she do it above the number line and not on the number line? You can totally do it on the number line. I just think it's easier to see it if it's above, but you can do it on the number line if you like that better. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Bye.